Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. I've been uh, figuring out how my uh, my new electronic load works. I've kind of got it figured out, at least for uh, constant current. I can get my head around that. It does constant power as well, um, but I haven't used that. Uh, it comes with some software. I got that working. This video isn't going to be the demo of the programmable load, which is here. I'm just going to sit here and make a cable. Um, this thing's a bit of a mess. <clears throat> um, it's It's got all bits and pieces hanging out all over the place. So I'm going to make a cable to keep that nice and tidy. And then we're going to take this guy and we're going to keep him up there, I think. Or maybe there, I'm not sure. Uh, Anyway, he needs to find a, sp a home uh, somewhere, uh, and because uh, you can control the device uh, with software, and I've got the software on one of my computers, uh, I can configure it using the software. I don't need to have access to the front panel in order to punch in uh, settings, um, so it, it's okay if it lives up the back there. I'll just run it in USB cable. Now. If you watched the previous video, you would have seen the 4-pin USB thing. It is actually a data connection. It's separate to power. Power's over here. Um, so, uh, also, I don't know if you can see this. This is flapping around here. This is a 12 volts uh, from the ATX power supply sitting on the back of my system. Uh, that is a candidate for powering this guy, um, and then I wouldn't need the uh, the um, power adapter that I've got, which is a US plug, um, and it's a pretty short cable, so I'm not sure that it would even reach to the nearest power supply. Um, so I'm thinking I might power my battery tester with the ATX power supply. Uh, why wouldn't I do that? I don't know. Um, anyway, that's just thinking. Um, I'll, I'll set that up separately and I'll demo this thing soon. Um, but right now, we're uh, just making a cable. Just making a cable. I, uh, I worry about those alligator clips um, when you've got them uh, plugged into a power supply. I suppose even the banana plugs just flapping around waiting for a short circuit to happen. Alright, so this thing's off. Um, that's the uh, 12 volts and this thing, uh, what are we going to do? I'm plugging up here. I'll put that over there. My friend's coming to take me out for lunch, so I've only got an hour to get this done in. <clears throat> and uh, I would forgive you if you didn't want to sit here watching me make a cable. It's probably not going to be super riveting stuff. A uh, little bit of soldering. Probably a little bit of heat shrink. Now these are the cables that came with the thing. I think I'm going to wrap them up, put them in a drawer, put a label on them, and not look at them ever again. Because I'm going to have these running into this. So that'll be sensible, safe, DC power in. And then uh, on the back end, two sets of cables. Uh, actually, it'll go like that. So two reds, two blacks. Happy days. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's make that cable. We'll fire up the uh, soldering iron. There we go. Power on. Might as well turn on the hot air gun as well. Why not? Now we've got a little bit of heat shrink here. Probably enough black 
and red. Um, that looks good to me. Now, you're going to need some snips. And uh, let's grab this guy. I've got a couple of these, and I tend to use this one. I think it's officially my favorite. So, uh, let's cut these. shrink on. I don't know about you, but it, <clears throat> I reckon at half the time I'm working with heat shrink, I forget to put it on before I do the soldering. And then of course, I can't get it on. I'm trying to get in here. I might get the screwdriver. <laughs> in we go. There we go. Right. Through there. Okay. Now we're going to need to do some stripping. Uh, this guy. One. <coughs> Scraps up the back here. Okay, and we're going to need to strip these as well. Let's see. Okay, now, how are we going to join these things? This guy over this way, and then pull this guy up this way. Maybe we'll twist these together. And then put that there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And bring that guy around there. And then just tie him off. That's fairly good. <sighs> now 
and chuck some solder on this guy. I forgot to put my fan on. That's my phone. That's probably my mate telling me he's going to be here soon. Looking forward to lunch. I'm a bit hungry. <clears throat> Let's just chuck our fan on. Over there. Yep, that's my friend. He'll be here soon. Alright, so that one seemed to work okay. Let's twist these together and do the same thing. I'm going to take this guy, put him around that way, and this guy up this way, and let's just tie him off. Pretty happy with that. flux there on my uh, mat. I'll clean that off with some isopropyl IPA after I finished this soldering. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. And let's just flip him over. And put a bit more solder in this guy. Alright, well, I think we should be happy with that. <clears throat> so, we'll bring it right up. Up, 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 up. And we'll bring black up as well. There we go. I wonder if I've made a mistake using uh, shrink wrap, which is too big. We'll know in a minute. Let's see what happens. Well, looks pretty good to me. I don't know, what do you reckon? 
reckon. Looks okay to me. Now I've got some IPA over here. Clean up the mess. Easy peasy. And uh, all right. So this is our cable. Those should be able to go into our electronic load, and then we can plug power in there, and it's all be nice and safe and. Organized. Excellent. I, uh, I wonder if I could... Oh no. That's oh, okay. Well, that's it for now. Made a cable. Um, I'll use it in the demo of the programmable load in the next video which I'll get up in the next couple of days. So uh, that's everything. Thanks again. See you next time.